Can you hear me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's coming. Ugh. Ugh. The smell's so nice, I smelled it twice. Oh, dude, it's squirting. Oh, it's, oh. It's like Cam when he goes pee. <laughs> That's us, bro. Got to watch what you say on camera. <laughs> I'm in danger. No. Got the whole fam family out here right now. That's how you do it, baby. You're watching Service Call, proudly produced by Tecmo and sponsored by FortisHD.com. Honk if you're horny. In this episode, Tyler's playing around with used joysticks. It's gross. Mike is putting rubber tracks back on the Yanmar C50R so we can go back out on rent. There you go. Operator of my dreams. I'm Cam finds bad news on an axle. Oh, I just dented my new truck. <laughs> hey guys, it's Tyler Crawford again with TWC Mechanical, or as people like to say, Tyler wants cookies. Tonight we're working on a John Deere 345G is in God damn it, it's f***ed again. So we're replacing a uh, left joystick or happy stick and we're gonna flip the pattern back to uh, normal controls and get off this farmer boat. So let's get started with the fun stuff. Let's make a mess. Let's flip this pattern. First you need a wrench. Which size wrench? I don't know. So if you don't know what size wrench to grab, you grab multiples or you grab a crescent wrench. But it's a John Deere so it's probably a three quarter inch. Now we'll come to this super awesome, nice, big door or cut out panel to change this pattern around. No. Do you have a flashlight on me? No, I don't. All right, so what we want to do is flip some hoses and lines around here. The pattern is A, B, and C. A, B, C, and D are the hoses we want to change, but you don't want to change them off the hose. You want to change them off the actual pilot manifold here. And uh, make sure you do the right ports because last time I assumed because for years, John Deere, they always left them the same. Yeah, well, the f changed it and that really f***ed me up. F*** you. Just show me your hole. Oh my, that's what she said. Now I'm gonna go back to YouTube here and look up what I gotta f do, because it's been a few days. A to D, C to B. I think it's dash six JIC, but I'm not certain. Yeah, that's dash six JIC. And yeah, we're already, oh, we're already making a mess, boys. F***ing rights. C to B. And B to D. All the real mechanics are gonna watch this, but this guy's he doesn't know how to change the pattern. No, I know how to change the pattern. I just can't find the last port because John Deere changed this and decided to be a bunch of douchebags. Right, so that's D. So where the is A? <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> a, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now I can do my A, B, C's. Oh, dude, it's squirting. Oh, it's. Oh, it's a heavy flow. Everyone in the comment section be like, why doesn't he just take the panel off? Because I'm f***ing lazy, okay? And the time I spend f***ing around doing this I could have spent towards taking the panel off, but then by the time I'm finally done, it's the same amount of time to pull the panel off, then I have to put it back on. No one likes installing pointless so I would just leave it off. No, it's just deer flipped all their patterns around. And their ports? Our pilot valve used to have like your A, B, C, and D port like right here and you just want like this with the two and then like this so you cross but an x not anymore they really move around i think i found it though let's take this off and see what happens ow that hurt edit out we're tired of up again i told you guys the difference between a good mechanic and an apprentice is we just are really good at hiding our ups ah <laughs> i found it it was that one boys i'm good and whenever you question yourself thinking you're Remember, you are. The nice thing is, like, you guys can't see in here while I'm working, so you don't know what I'm doing. So when we fire it up, we'll all be surprised if I did it or not. Oh, sh that's in there, <laughs> Oh, son of a <laughs> No. Yeah, so in, in there I did some stuff with some things, and the hose went from somewhere to some. I don't even know what I did, because I can't even find it again, because the numbers are gone. Peace. And I know I've done it right, so we'll just clean my mess up now. Break clean and wash away all sins. Except for herpes, that shit stays with you. It's like Cam when he goes pee. Get it, because he's old? <laughs>
just like him, shake it and get a bit more. All right, let's try this. Like I said, boys, I always get it right the first time after I've f***ed up a bunch. Oh, hang on. Wait. All right, let's clean up this mess and we'll go f do that joystick, the happy stick. Going back to the truck tour, this is why I really like these. If you, you can take it off of that way put it on that way or if there was another way you could flip it again and that's why they're called snap-on four-way angle wrenches they're true four-way angles every direction so no matter which way the hose is you can always get it on there that's why i really like these snap-on four-way angle wrenches i'd use them mostly for hydraulics not so good at finding your dignity afterwards that's always gone forever and always it's lost come up here I'm gonna show you guys how to pull a foreskin off of a deer. Oh, it's like pulling a condom off. Yep, it's definitely broken. Just uh, don't make eye contact, it's weird. What the f It's hot out, okay? Give me a break. Oh, 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 there it is. Whoop that Remember kids, when doing stupid sketchy make sure to wear eye protection so you don't get it in your eye. There it is. It's like a Jewish foreskin, it's all sticky. It's gross. I have no idea if this is even the right joystick. No, I don't think we're uh, even remotely correct. Awesome job, guys. <laughs> that sucks. And that's how you get f***ed over by a parts guy. Meep meep. Hey man, how's it going? Uh, were you picking this up tonight or tomorrow? I'll grab it tonight. I gotta get this thing back together. Can I run it for you? If you... I can go get it. That would be sick. Yeah. Me love you long time. Hey guys, we're here today. We're gonna to work on a Yanmar track dump truck. It's got some uh, worn out tracks that we're gonna look at and replace and inspect the undercarriage while we're at it. It actually has a hydraulic cylinder in here instead of your standard grease valve one. So on the back of the swing point here, this is your auto tensioner. So what it's doing is you're getting hydraulic pressure in here, so it's always tensioning the tracks as they wear out and stretch. So all you do to loosen them is just swap your hoses here. And on this side, same thing, swap them, and it'll pull the tensioner in, and then you can take the tracks off. Make sure you relieve any hydraulic pressure in your systems before you open up your hydraulic lines. Just give them a little wiggle because you get oil like this coming out. And they're starting to back off already, as you can see, coming in a little bit as it releases some of the pressure that's still in there. Auto tensioning system, not as common now. It's usually uh, grease valves are the most common. But yeah, this is nice because all you have to do is fire up the machine and it does the work in for you there. We'll crack these boys off here. I'll just swap this one over down here too. There you go, collapse away. This just saves you the messing around there with some pins and all that stuff, right? So that's the one thing that's nice about this. There you go, done. One key turn. And we just want to make sure we can get the, uh, be able to get the center of the tracks to slide under the rollers here. Bring it up a little more. Block up our machine here. Look at that, calculated. The blocking gods are with us today. I mean, you can leave your jack there, but never trust your jacks. At least this is a fail-safe. Make sure your blocking's decent. Rated. Inspected by the lumber mill. Yeah, and then all you have to do is really just run the, the track off of your idler.
There you go. That's good. Work smart, not hard, right? You wanna just pick up right here? Check and inspect all your rollers, your pivot shafts. Everything's doing what it should be doing. So you just go through, pry bar or whatever, see how they are. Take a visual too down from the back end and to see that they're all straight. Make sure you have no excessive play in here on the bearing. That's all good. And then you can check your pockets here just to see how worn out they are. So when we took off the one side here, we found that the top carrier roller failed. The bearing decided to leave the chat. So we got a new one ordered. Just waiting for that one, but we're gonna throw it all back together. Hey, it's Cam with Tech Hello. We got a, uh, a catastrophic failure on this axle and we're gonna pull it apart and show you what failed on it. We're gonna get this axle pulled out and onto the bench. Onto the bench. Oh, I just dented my new truck. <laughs> Can you see where the failure happened? Yeah, it's got that stance. It's got that, it's all stanced out. I'll move it right over here. Get it kind of centered on the bench. And then we'll uh, block up right here so yeah. that we can actually get the wheel end off. Oh, I love that sound. Yeah, it sounds a little groany. Yep. That's good. I think it's all the way in. The next step, uh, we're gonna blast the uh, ends off and take a look inside. Wow, this is a nice set. Wow, that thing's uh, powerful. Nice. I'm just gonna chisel off that end cap. There we go. Bananas in pajamas. We're coming down the stairs. Hey, that's really cool, man. I really like that story. You should tell it again. See how this thing comes apart. Wow. What's that? It's a retainer plate. Good enough. That's nasty shit. That is sus. Ew, ew. Look at it. Ugh, blood and semen everywhere. It was a submarine, that's why. Because it's semen in a submarine. <laughs> Careful, you gotta watch what you say on camera. That's sus, bro. That's suspension. I can feel it right now. It's bent. Even this is like preloaded. Like I thought it would separate easy, but it's like. Now I'm gonna get some uh, Zerbas down there. Oh, it's gonna be sticky as. Oh, it's coming. This doesn't even want to separate nice. Thank you, Mike. Hey, man, I, I show them what their tools are capable of. They might not have known this otherwise. You didn't even know this was a pry bar, and you guys made it. Your, you guys are the ones who made it. <laughs> if you didn't want me to do this with the tools, then they wouldn't have put the... Uh... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you don't want me to abuse them, then don't make them abusable. Look at it. It's like closing the gap somewhere else. Like, I just... I pried that open and then the other side closes. I'll have to, I'll have to put a couple wedges in her. Okay, get the big reveal, baby. Just for you. We call this the money shot in the industry. Oh, yum. Oh, yeah. Super yummy. Can you smell that? Can you smell that at home? Can you taste it? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yummy. That's not what we want to see. Our uh, planetaries have failed. That's what it looks like to me, at least. I don't know. What do you guys think at home? I know somebody's going to tell me in the comments that I'm wrong. So wrong. Somehow, like... Well, actually, if you want to done... Yeah. Oh, f Yeah, this is the real money shot. Look at that. That's a catch, right there. 
Yum. Good thing I got my gloves on. That's that's nasty. Her guts blew right out. Somebody loaded her from the side too much. Oh man, at this point it's f***ed. What does it matter? I think the shaft's f***ing bent too. The sun gear's f***. All right, so at this point, we found the failure. Uh, if it's not obvious to you at home, um, the planetaries have failed. Maybe something got stuck in them or who knows what, or the, one of the bearings piled up. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We can speculate all we want, but at this point, it's it needs to come apart more. It's a strong one. It's not even the worst smelling ones I've had either. That's the thing. This housing's All right, we're going to keep tearing down. She says, hopefully there's no other damage in there. We'll be back with more of this. With the new and correct joystick picked up, Tyler's ready to get it done. Now it looks like what we took out. So let's dress this and get it back in so I can go and chase myself around the living room and play hard to get. Need some tools. Oh, here's the old one. So we'll just gonna go. Now children, when you're working at home, always keep your Deutsch connectors because you can use them for something else or you can go make a pigtail for testing. Hey, it says the blind man. There we go. Pound out the roll pin to get my horse tranquilizer thing out. No step, bro. See that short stroke technique right there? That's years and years and years of practice. If only Ocean Gate used high quality John Deere controllers, it wouldn't have blown up. I honestly thought they survived all that. Apparently they didn't. Oh, I'm going straight to fun places. Gotta use your flush cuts, that way you don't the next guy over. Oh wait, I'm always the next guy. For a fat guy, you're so agile. I know, step bro. God, this is so sticky. There we go. Ring around the rosy with a pocket full of posies. Now let's play go f myself. I mean, go fish. Who would have thought plastic could be sharp and hurt my feelings? Ow! Align the tabs and push it together. Go in your home, ball. Too good for your home. Now I'll secure the wires that uh, were properly secured before I got here and f shit up. Now when you install these joysticks, you want a bit of slop in your uh, wire so when you go full 360, it doesn't get tight and bind up and pull on and get f***ed up. Always leave your wire loose. And make sure you secure the f*** out of it for the next guy. Because at TWC we care. But Tyler, aren't you the next guy? Yes, I do like f***ing myself too. And snip. Alright, so wire's back in, hooked up. Let's uh, throw this column back together. Column, console, words. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now the best part is try to get the screws back in the hole and not drop them and lose them. Because I do that a lot. It's like weight reduction because you don't find the screw afterwards, so you don't bother putting it back in. And then the shit sits and rattles and drives people nuts and you just sit back and laugh because you're a piece of shit. I paid you to fix my machine, I did. I made it better. No, you lost all the screws that hold my panels back together. You're a piece of shit. Yes, yes I am. Thank you for noticing. It takes a great effort to be an asshole. Make sure you tighten your nut down in the right spot so that the joystick is clocked correctly so the operator's hands don't get tired running the machine. And put your sticky condom back down because uh, I don't f things up so I don't need to test stuff. Why is it so sticky, Brandon? F Start step, bro. Now, one of these buttons is the horn. Honk if you're horny. It works. And that, guys, is how you install a joystick. I'm gonna grab a red mole and gun it and call it a night. Anyways, um, y'all have a great night and remember, God loves you, because I sure as f don't. <sighs> Thanks, Step Bro. <coughs> ah, delicious and not very nutritious. Thanks to Josh, AKA me, at Fortis HD, we got a new roller in for Mike. All right, we've already done one side, so now we're gonna go and do the other side and get it all back together.
forcehg.com. Buy your rubber tracks. Okay, now drive forward a little. Okay, hold there. Okay, we're almost there, one sec. Okay, you can come down a little. And then back to the bottom. Okay, now back to the top. Perfect, and you can come down and back out. There you go. Operator of my dreams. That's how you do it, baby. Just swapping over our lines for our auto tensioner. And then we can hook them back up and then it'll self tension. And on the third day, they said, let there be tension. Lovely. There we go. Cracks. Done. Just need to lower our machine. Tough break, bro. Tough break. These are all frozen together. Who froze these blocks together? Touchdown. Oh, f I'm just leaving my dust. So this one's all done here. We identified the tracks need to be changed. They are uh, pretty worn out. So we got a new fresh set of tracks on them, all tensioned up and ready to go. If you guys want to learn more, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let us know too what videos you want to see. Thanks for watching. We're good, man. That's perfect. Yucky, yucky. Oh, eh. so gross. Man. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, nasty. I can feel it. Even the brake oil is like disgusting. The smell so nice, I smelled it twice. Now push. There we go. Okay, watch yourself, that might come up pretty quick. And just don't point it down yet yeah. so it doesn't slide off the tip. That's okay, that's how you do it. You got that? There we go. And that's how we pull the carrier out. Easy peasy. Yucky. No, it's really thick though. Like that's really thick oil, man. It's like grease. Ew, I can't believe you're doing that without gloves, they say. And I'm like, yeah. I always wear gloves or some form of invisible glove. All right. How much damage is on this boy? Yo. We'll give that a little clean and take a look and see if there's any uh, chunks we can catch our skin on. I don't know, you just get an eye for inspecting them after a while. It's not like too much rocket science to them, but I always look for like obvious things like pitting, right? Like you can see there's some pitting on these right there where like materials gone through, like chunks of metal have gone through and like taken off the, some of the finish. Discolor, overheat, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, there's obvious things you look at, but most of the time I, yeah, I see like I fail bearings most of the time just on color right here. You see that little dimple on the face. Anytime you have like a catastrophic failure like this and you have material going through and bearings, my recommendation is to always change all the bearings in this because material's gone through them. You know, in, in some degree or another, there's been contamination and, and, you know, material going through and it's cheap insurance just to change all your bearings at this point. You know, we're also going to check our crown gear and pinion for any damage to those on like the faces of the teeth, the edges, all that. This part, the axle housing itself is okay. Our hub housing and planetaries are done. Uh, the brakes are done. The bearings will all need to get replaced. The axle shaft, we're gonna get that spun up in a, uh, in, on some V blocks and see how true that is. And check the run out on it. Uh, look at all the sludge on there. Dude, this oil is like jello, man. Our sun gear is done. This is attached to the, to the shaft. This actually pops right off, but it's all jammed in there. That's why I think the shaft's no good. 
because it's it's like it's bent or something i don't know i can't get it off right now i have to hammer it off but quite a bit quite a bit of damage already expensive i mean this is still repairable it really depends on cost of parts josh is the man for it he's going to be specking a new axle or a used axle and if not that, then he'll be helping me out getting the replacement parts for this to uh, repair it. So for any heavy duty parts you might need, uh, give us a call, talk to Josh. Good parts guys are hard to find. Josh is one of the best uh, that I've worked with. And uh, yeah, bye for now. See you in a few. You brought your whip to West Coast Customs. Here it is. We lost your Cadillac, but we got you a Yanmar. They're almost the same in equal value. This one will look a lot cooler though. Oh yeah, I can see me. Oh no, step bro. Dig a hole. Oh, f the window's <laughs> up. We will be traveling lots in 2024, so if you're a heavy duty mechanic that wants to be featured in service call or do a truck tour, email media at techmohd.com or send a DM on Instagram. We expect you guys to be sliding into our DMs any day now. Force HD is sponsoring this, so I'm gonna be tagging along for all the travels. Deal with it. <laughs>